Thank you for joining us today on Positively Charged Biz. We are here to motivate, inspire, and support our listeners as they write their life stories. We are a proud founding member of the Real Disrupt Podcast Collaborative, and you can check out more awesome podcasts at realdisrupt.com. Thank you for joining us today for Positively Charged Biz. Well, everyone, I am so excited because this week is the launch to my first book, Say Yes Every Day. And unfortunately, I can't interview myself, so I have asked my good friend Larry Levine from Selling from the Heart to join me so we could have a conversation. Thank you so much for joining us, Larry. Hey, Laura, you know, that would have been, but I tell you what, that would have been something to see you interview yourself, but I mean, <laughs> come on, right? We can, we can have different voices. <laughs> we can really play around with this. Why not? Right? No, you know what? Hey, I, you know, I know what it's like, you know, to put something together and take your thoughts and everything and get that out in writing. So congratulations. Thank I you. Can't I, I can't wait to read your book. I have to tell you, Larry, you know, it's very interesting. I have had, you know, monumental goals in my life, and I have certainly not been afraid. That's the whole point of the book of Say Yes Every Day is not to be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. But going through the process of writing a book, wow, kudos to all the authors <laughs> out there because I had no idea. Oh, I know. Hey, but, but I, I have a bunch of questions for you. But before we dig into the why behind the book, I'm going to flip something on you. So we always ask our guests, what's it mean to them to sell from the heart when they come on the podcast? I'm going to flip this around. So for you, Laura, what's it mean to you to say yes every day? Oh, I love it, Larry. Good <laughs> one. Good one. Okay. So what does it mean to me to say yes every day? I believe that we all have one life to live, of course, right? And every single day that we are given on this earth is a present. And I will not waste not one single day by taking it as a mundane routine of just going through the motion of doing the same thing over and over again. So a few years ago, I challenged myself to actually start to say yes every single day to new opportunities and new things happening with no expectations or preconceived notions. Because what I learned is that most of the time when we go into something, we already have in the back of our brain what the outcome will be. Whether it's an outcome of good or an outcome of bad, we would go into it saying, oh, if I have this conversation with Larry right now, well, I know that this will happen. But the problem with that thinking is that when you go into something thinking you know the outcome, if that outcome doesn't happen, you actually get disappointed. You actually start second guessing what you did wrong or what didn't work out. But when you go into it, just being open to having a wonderful conversation with Larry, whether it's learning about selling from the heart or having just a personal conversation and winning by having that conversation, you actually far exceed your expectations. It's, it's so good. And I want, I want to continue to play on this. I'm, I'm, that's, I would, I'd like to peel this back just a little bit more if, if we can is, Take us back to that moment because you said, you know, this was a couple years ago. What was that moment in time, Laura, that led you to go, okay, now it's the time to say yes every day. Go back to that. Where, where were you in that moment and what led up to that? And then we'll get to the why behind the book. Absolutely. Okay. Well, the moment was 2018 and I am a mortgage executive. I've been in the mortgage business my whole career, but I was someone that always was in the office, meaning I was building the company, I was doing the work, I was leading the charge all the time, in the office by 6 a.m., working until late in the evening. And in 2018, in the mortgage industry, there was something called margin compression, which means that you're not making as much on every transaction, the margins were compressed. 
which means you needed to do a lot more business just to make the same amount of profit. So at that time, a new organization was, was growing within our industry. And I was reached out to by the head of that organization to say, Laura, I'm having my very first event in Irvine, California, and I would love for you to come and moderate a panel. Well, at that time, I'm like, oh, I have an opportunity to go and try to get some clients, right? Because I need to grow my client base. So I, even though that wasn't normal, I said yes to it. Well, as the months were leading on and it was getting closer, the panic was setting in. And I'm thinking, I can't do this. There's no way I can do this. I, I'm not someone that goes up on stage. So I said, oh, I know. I'm going to get one of my salespeople to go up on the stage and he will be so excited. So of course he said yes to me. Well, that very next day, I received a phone call from the head of that organization. And he said, hey, I hear that you're not doing the moderating. You got <laughs> one of your salespeople. And I said, yes, he will be excellent. He said, no. <laughs> Laura Brandeo is who I want on that stage. I do not want anyone else. And you're doing it. Larry, I've been a mortgage executive for many years. People don't say no to me. People say yes to me. <laughs> and I said, wow, I can't believe he said no. I got on that plane after watching numerous YouTube videos on how to moderate. And I got on that plane scared to the bejesus of getting up. But when I got up on that stage and I moderated a panel spotlighting other people, what happened at that moment, tons of women came up to me and they said, Laura, we never see a woman executive up on a stage. We didn't even know there were mortgage women executives. You need to continue on this path. And at that moment, I realized that by getting over my fear and by getting out of my comfort zone, I could make a difference. And then I thought, what else have I been afraid to do? What other things can I possibly make a change? And at that moment, I decided I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I'm going to start saying yes to all different experiences. And those experiences don't have to be jumping out of airplanes or doing crazy things. It could be saying hello to a stranger. It could be shutting off your cell phone with your family and really listening to their conversations. It could be that walk in the park. Saying yes every day is not just the monumental things. It's all the little things that add up to become monumental. It, it, it's it's so good and in you know the stories the story as I'm listening is by the way I love the story is I think we're our, we're our own worst critic yes and it's the stories in our head are the stories that we tell ourselves and then we act those stories out and I'm glad I'm so glad because the book wouldn't come to fruition if you didn't stop the stories in your head you're right and it's funny Larry when I said I didn't realize how hard it was to become an author don't think that those stories in my head haven't run through my brain every day since I started to write it. We all have that. There is not a human being on this earth that doesn't have those stories in our heads. And we have to continue to support each other to know that we are our own worst critics, but we also have the control to change the narrative in which is being fed to us. So true. So that so, and that and that's that's just that's peel this back for a moment. So how do you say yes to changing the narrative? Yeah, it takes work. It absolutely does take work because as that negative thought is coming into our brains, we have to change that narrative. Remember, I told you we're literally 
foreseeing what we think is going to happen, whether it's, okay, I'm writing this book. Well, in the back of our brains, we're thinking, no one's going to read this book. No one cares about this book. <laughs> no, right? In the back of our brains, we all, every person that has put anything down on paper, we second guess ourselves. And we think to ourselves, well, who do I think I am to write this book? Why would anyone have an interest, right? But at the end of the day, why are you really doing it, right? Every single thing that you're doing, why are you really doing it? What's the reason behind it, right? Because we can change that narrative in our brain when you really think back and you think, no, even if I'm doing this just for the purpose of myself, for me to be able to say, you know what? 50 years from now, 70 years from now, maybe someone will come across this. Maybe long before when we're no longer on this earth, someone may stumble across this and it could change them. Even yourself, Larry, your own book, right? You went out there and you created your book to be able to help other people to realize it's okay to sell from the heart. It doesn't have to be this business to business relationship of someone feeling sold, right? And when you wrote it, you probably were thinking, well, I don't know if anybody's going to have an interest in this, <laughs> right? <laughs> No, we all think this. no, you see, you, you bring up, you bring up an amazing point because, um, I think we all go through it. Right. And, um, luckily you've surrounded yourself with amazing people as I have surrounded myself with amazing people, because it, it, it helps to, it helps to, um, I'm trying to think of the right word is like minds, right? It, yes. It's, it's so important if we're going to change that narrative is be really cognizant of the people that are in 100%. our close in our close proximity because they can either break us or build us up and it was so interesting when i was listening to what you were just saying i just i had to reach over really quick because this is a book that's near and dear to me oh yeah i know that book very well <laughs> it's called the happiness advantage yes. but the reason why i bring it up is because a lot of what you just said ties into the happy and happiness advantage because we can change the thoughts in our mind yeah and we can say yes or no to what we think and say so right. you know so kudos to that so a, as you started writing the book and and by the way congratulations on the soon to be launch of your book what are a couple things that that you would really like to see get out there as it relates to the book so someone's going to read say yes Mm -hmm. And they're going to read this, they're going to put it down and they're going to say, wow, that was an amazing book because of. Yep. Okay. So the second part of say yes is discovering your superpowers. So I believe number one, the odds of any of us being born are again, incredible. The odds of the perfect culmination of DNA that created us of who we are on this earth is a miracle. It is a miracle. All of us are a miracle. And I believe that every single one of us have gifts that are unique to us. But what I find, especially as you're, let's go back. When you're a child, right? When you're born and you're a little kid, you believe you can be anything you could be Superman. You could be the president of the United States. You can be anything you want. You have no limits. It doesn't matter where you grew up. It doesn't matter your, your intelligence. It doesn't matter anything because you believe you can be anything. But as you age, it changes. As we age, we start limiting ourselves. We start believing I'm not good enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not enough. And I say that is wrong because I believe that we were all given exactly what we were supposed to be given to share our superpowers with the world and be the best us. We don't have to be everyone else. We don't have to emulate others because we have those gifts.
But a lot of times we don't lean into them. And we don't lean into them because we're trying to be what everybody else is. Oh, well, if I copy this, I can be exactly like that person. No, when you finally get to the point in your life, and this is what the book is about, when you finally feel comfortable in your own skin, and you realize that everything that you're made up of is exactly what you're supposed to be. So be you, be the best you, and lean into those special gifts that you have. And I'll give you, I'll speak about you right now. You have, you have the superpower of connecting with people, with making other people feel comfortable, with building strong relationships, and allowing them to feel good about themselves. That is your superpower, one of them, Larry. No, you know, I appreciate it, Laura, because you use the word superpower. I use the word secret sauce. There you go. And, you know, and, and I'm a big believer that we all have a secret sauce. And, you know, I uncovered that secret sauce as I was writing Selling yeah. from the Heart. And, and I can sense in, uh, in the time, boy, we fast. I, I feel like we're long lost kindred spirits, though we've only met within the last year. And, and I can tell by, you know, our deep conversations that we've had and you helping me out and vice versa is your secret sauce is your ability to really dig in and really expand upon saying yes. That's right. Because it, you know, you touched on something and I wanna peel this back if we can, because you started talking about self-doubt and the older that we get. And I think a lot of that is based on experiences. That's right. And the, and the older we get, the harder it is to change. We look back on all these past experiences and as we start aging, we go, well, we can't do that because I remember back when this happened. So let's, let's walk through this just for a moment. How would you coach somebody through this as they were reading your book? Right. Hmm. Let me think, let me think about that because you are right. It is something that you have to look into yourself right? It's something that I think we get uncomfortable with looking into ourselves because you're correct. We're everything after, as we age, we start to, and again, going back to the child. Okay. I have to go back to the child. Children have no fear of failure because they've never failed. Exactly. Right. They've never failed. So you're correct. Well, but, well, well, but, even if they have failed, they wouldn't even know that no. they did fail. That's correct. But think about it. But Larry, let's let's look at it this way. OK, I, I love the children analogy. OK, when when a child is learning to walk, obviously they fall down. Obviously, they OK, they might skin their knee, whatever it is. But they keep getting back up because there is no option for them not to walk. They are going to walk right now. Might be at nine months, might be at 12 months, might be at 14 months. But eventually they're going to walk. But yet as adults, we say, oh, I failed at that. Never going to do that again. But we have the same ability. We have the ability to say, no, okay, I fail. Okay, I made a mistake. I'm going to perfect this. I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to keep doing it because I know that this is something I need to do for myself, for my family, for my team. I'm not stopping. But we relive those mistakes and we, we just give up. We just say, that's it. But that's not part of the plan. The part of our plan, every one of us are meant to have our best lives. And that's the other thing. The definition of my best life would be very different from yours or someone else. And that is perfectly fine. When I was writing this book, it was not a book of you should follow the same path that I took. Now, yes, I give stories, but that's not to say this is the proper way to do it. We all have a different path. And what our best life looks like is different for each one of us. And that's the beauty of it is don't, you don't have to go from point A to point B the same as everyone else. It's okay, but you have to look in yourself. And number one, I think there's many people out there that actually don't even know what they want. I don't think they've ever even thought about oh. what they want. And why do you think that? And why do you think that is? Well, no, is it is it because they're afraid? Is it is it almost afraid of if I 
if I say this is my goal or this is what I want to accomplish, but then I fail, I feel like a failure. So I'm just going to just keep going through the motions of doing the same thing over and over again. And then that way, I don't feel like I failed. Well, do you think it's something that has to do with fitting in, not fitting into the crowd or fitting into society? Yeah, and- most people, that's what they do. Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, most people just go through the rhythm. They literally repeat the same day over and over again. And why is that? Well, you're safe, right? You're safe. No one's going to bother you. You're not getting out of that comfort zone. You're, you're in the safe zone of don't worry about it. But that's not where the magic happens. The magic happens as you're getting out of that zone and working towards what you want. Whatever that best life looks like for you, it's all okay. You don't have to fit in. You don't, none of us were meant to be copies of each other. That's why we all look different and sound different. And that's why we're unique. We were meant to fulfill that. And that's what saying yes every day is about. Oh, Laura, that that that's that's so good. So as as we, you and I could you could, you you and I could you, we could talk for hours around this. But but as as we bring this to a close, and by the way, congratulations on the launch of your book. I'm so proud of you. I, I know what it takes. So oh. I I know the book's going to touch so many lives. But you know, in conclusion, yeah, if there's one thing just one thing that you can say about the, the book and the impact that you'd like to see the book have, what would be that one thing that person's going to read the book and there's one thing in that book that would hit home with them? What would that be as we bring this to a close? It's, it's about realizing that we all have that superpower. So I, I'm encouraging people to realize that more than just saying yes every day, because absolutely that's the first thing. The first thing is you have to wake up every day, jumping out of bed, realizing, wow, I have a fresh new day to make my own and experience things in a way as if I'm waking up from a sleep for the last 20 years. So that's the first thing. I want you to realize that you have that opportunity every single morning. Don't waste it because it's a gift. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you have everything you need to have your best life already there. You may need to nurture it. You may need to develop it, but the core is already there. Stop being like everyone else and just going through the motion because when you lean into yourself and your superpower, that best life is right there for you. Oh, it's so, so good. Just a couple quick things. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna ask you to share with everyone how they can go out and get yes. the book and how they can learn more about you, Laura. But I I'm a big believer in capturing the morning. Oh yeah. And and I and I believe that we must capture the morning really well because the way we capture the morning determines how we end the day. And what I really like about what you do every day is that I would encourage everyone to follow Laura on this is every day Laura does a video on what to say yes to. And I encourage you, go follow Laura in her journey and bringing saying yes out to the marketplace and out to the community and out to the world. So it's been amazing speaking with you, but just share with everybody, how can they learn more about Say Yes and the book and the whole movement? Well, thank you so much. So yes, the book is launching 2121. Okay, so when this airs on 2-2, it will already be out. So please go to Amazon and get Say Yes Every Day. My website is laurabrandeo.com. So on there is literally every single thing that I'm doing. And yes, follow me on social media. I'm very, very active. And even that, Larry, I did not start doing social media until 2018 when I started saying yes every day. And now you see I'm extremely active and I'm all over that. But even that got me out of my comfort zone to being on video, doing all of that. So yes, I encourage everyone. I'm, I'm always happy to share. I love connecting with people. I am absolutely 100% a giver of myself 
And I love to lift people up to be them best, their best selves. Thank you so much, Larry, for doing this. It's been so joyous to share this with you. And thank you for your friendship and for everything. And yes, Larry and I only actually met in April of 2020. So Is that what it was? Yes. Is it April? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on your book. And you know, I'm a fan and whatever I can do to help, all you got to do is ask. Same here. Right back at you. Thank all you right. so much. Take, Take care. Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Positively Charged Biz. I'm Laura Brandeo, and we are here to motivate, inspire, and support our listeners as they write their life stories. If you have an inspiring story, please email me at laura at positivelycharged.biz. And remember to subscribe to hear more great guests. And connect to us on Facebook at Positively Charged and Instagram at Positively Charged Podcast. Until next time, we wish you a positive day.